All right, what's up everyone? Welcome back to this video. Um, I'm gonna do like a my fall winter outerwear part in this video at the end of it. So uh, if you want, don't want to stay for like the vlog kind of part, you can just skip right to that. I'll put like the time right here when that starts. But yeah, anyways, uh, my sister's actually moving into a new place today. So I'm gonna go help her move some stuff in. I have this couch in my room right here, and then I have like this coffee table. And yeah, I'm gonna give those to her, so I gotta pack those into my truck to take to her place. And then um, I actually have like an apartment, um, but the lease is ending at the end of the year. So yeah, I'm not planning on continuing any leases after that because I'm gonna start applying to some grad schools. And so hopefully if I get into some grad schools that I applied to, uh, I'm probably gonna be moving somewhere else. So yeah, it kind of worked out for me. I can just uh, give her like my bed and stuff that's at the apartment and uh, some of this stuff here. And uh, it'll kind of declutter everything that I have. So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and um, it might be a little bit of a longer one. All right, I got everything strapped up. Um, let's just not do 100 on the freeway, it'll be fine. Hey buddy. Let's get this done. So everyone, it's been a few hours now, just busy getting all the stuff from my old place and putting it in my truck and bringing it to my sister's place. But it's all done now. So I'll give you guys a little tour real quick of like all the stuff we put into her place. Um, and then I also grabbed some clothes that I had had at my apartment, like all this stuff and then some t-shirts and stuff. So um, yeah, that's done. Um, probably just gonna help my sister set up and uh, then go get some food or something like that. Everyone, we just finished, <laughs> we just finished eating. Um, just walking to get some coffee now. There's like a spot, like two blocks down the street from from the place that we ate at that has good coffee. And that's about as far as you can walk in Los Angeles. Two blocks from lunch to coffee and then if you need to go anywhere else, you gotta drive. So, just enjoying the weather now because it's finally not like 95 degrees anymore. All right, what's up everyone? I'm uh, back home now from doing all that movement stuff and uh, I'll probably start filming like the outdoor portion of this video but um, yeah I'm happy I got some clothes back from my place because I had a ton of stuff that I totally forgot about. So this is where I used to have my couch so now that's just totally empty um, so tomorrow I'm gonna go to Ikea and just get like a drawer kind of thing that I could throw here and maybe like a reading chair. Um, never mind that there's some stuff I gotta take to do and donate um, and then also I had these like little art things that I um, put up now. And then this one's supposed to be from like 1890. I got this at the Alameda Swap when I was in uh, San Francisco. Um, I threw that one on there. And then I got this sweet old photo that uh, I gotta figure out where to put because my wall is getting kind of packed. But um, I have some space up there, so maybe I'll do that later. And then uh, I don't know if I've showed this before, but it's like a six and a half foot tall Marlboro Man. Um, and I'm super hyped on this one, super sweet. And uh, I just kind of like framed it on my own because I couldn't find a frame that was the right size for this. So I did that on my own and just uh, trilled it right into my wall because it's so heavy. So uh, yeah, uh, I think it's like 6.30 in the evening now. And uh, I'm gonna head to dinner with my brother and my dad. But I thought I'd include what I'm wearing to uh, get dinner. So I'm just rocking this um, vintage David Bowie tee. Uh, I got this at a vintage store in Highland Park uh, two weeks ago. Uh, the front graphic's crazy. And then on the back, just has like some tour date stuff on there. And then just like a thermal underneath. And uh, these Indigo Farah pants that I uh, showed in one of my like pants videos. And I'll probably wear this jacket uh, on top of all this that I got recently. And I just threw some pins on the collars there. Alright, this is how it's looking with the jacket on. Um, 
Yeah, it's like a nice cropped canvas jacket and then uh, black pants. I'm just gonna get into some of the outerwear that I'm wearing for uh, this fall and winter season. Probably just gonna show the jackets right here and then I'll go outside and throw them on and kind of like overlay how the jackets fit. And I'm gonna try to keep it kind of quick with each jacket, hopefully 30 to 45 seconds or something like that. But we'll see how that goes. So yeah, I'll just jump right into it. All right, so the first one I'm gonna start with is just this uh, black canvas jacket. You probably saw it earlier in the video. It's just kind of like a trucker vibe and it's kind of cropped. And then it has like these prison striped arms on the sides. I got this one on eBay, so I'll link that below because I've never seen like a jacket like this one. Um, it came from China, but I think it's like a Chinese brand that does like Americana kind of vibe clothing. So I'll link that below. But yeah, I'm super happy on this one. Uh, I've never really seen a jacket like this and it fits me pretty well. I like how it's cropped. Um, the quality is super good on it also. And um, plan on wearing it a lot. I've been already wearing it a lot. All right, the next thing that I've been rocking a lot recently is just this uh, Big E Levi's vest. I like the wash on this one a lot. It's still pretty dark, hasn't been too beat up, it looks like. Uh, I've just thrown some pins on the side and on the pocket here, as you can see. But um, yeah, I'm super stoked on this one. It fits me really well. And when it's not like too cold during the day or something, I usually just throw this on over like a long sleeve, like I'm wearing now, something like that. All right, let's push the camera back a little bit for this one. It's kind of a big jacket, but it's this vintage shot jacket. That's like a goose down. And it has here on the side, if you can see, there's like a zipper. So you can zip these sleeves off and it becomes into like a puffer vest. Um, I have seen a few of these over the years on eBay in a few different colors. And I think they're usually listed as like shot western down jacket or something like that but um i'm not sure what the whole story is on these if these only got released in japan or something like that but this one i got on ebay and it came from japan uh so i got super lucky with the measurements it fits me pretty much perfectly but i'm not sure how much use i'm gonna get out of this down jacket in california unfortunately but hopefully it gets cold enough so i can start rocking this a little bit more all right if you've seen my last video you already know what jacket this is this is just the bare knuckles wool varsity jacket in the true gold color. Um, I've worn this maybe two or three times so far since I've posted that last video. And uh, yeah, I've been liking it a lot. I like how it fits me. And uh, I like that it's still kind of a mellow design. So it's not too loud or anything, at least in my opinion. Yeah, it's super comfortable. Um, if you wear like a long sleeve or something under, it's pretty warm. All right, next is this suede um, trucker jacket by uh it's like a ralph lauren jacket and i got this at the rose bowl flea market maybe a year or two ago and throughout the year it's not like super thick or anything but i've been wearing it throughout the year whenever it gets a little bit cold outside and uh this one i'm super hyped on the next jacket is just this vintage carhartt santa fe jacket it has like this i don't know what they call it if it's like an aztec western print or something on the middle here um and this green color they make this in a few colors uh they did like black red like an aqua turquoise this green one i think they did a gray and some other colors um but yeah this one's super sweet i'm hyped on this one i've got this a few months ago now and it fits me perfectly it's actually super warm um super thick and it's like quilted on the inside all right and then i've also been wearing this uh 60s french chore jacket, chore coat, um, in this like dark, dark blue color. This one isn't the warmest one, so usually like during the day I'll rock this one, but uh, it's just super mellow. But yeah, I got this one um, at a vintage store in Highland Park. I think I showed it in one of my previous videos. Um, it's called Western Gifts, and uh, I'll leave like the address right here if you wanna go check it out. But the dude who sells, or the dude whose shop it is has like a ton of these, and you can just go look through them. They all have like different fades, different washes, things like that. Yeah, it's pretty hyped. I've always been looking for like a blue French chore jacket, so I was hyped when I got this one. All right, the last one that I wanted to show is just this vintage shot leather jacket. Um, I don't know what kind of style this is, but I'm sure they still sell the same looking jacket on their website. But this one's just from the 90s, I think. I wore this one a ton when I was in New York a few weeks ago. It wasn't too cold yet, but in the morning it was kind of like in the mid 50s or something like that and this was perfect there 
I've worn this a ton. Um, I think everyone should have like a good solid leather jacket in their wardrobe. So I've done this one. Um, probably be wearing this one for a little while. And uh, it fits me perfectly, so that's always a plus when you get a leather jacket.